Welcome back to Just Academy Mathematics YouTube channel where we make you a mathematics genius. In this class, we have a parallel line question and uh, we are asked to find S plus Y. Let's see where that will take us. Uh, let's see the possibilities we have. But before then, note that the figure is not drawn to scale. Eh? So the figure is not precise. Now, in the figure, AB is parallel to CD. What is the value of X plus Y? These two lines are parallel. If these two lines are parallel, and this is a transversal, though it do not cross, eh? but this is a transversal, it therefore means that this plus this is one possibility of the equation, which is this plus this is equal to 180. That is one possibility. Solution. Let's see. So we are saying that 6x plus 30 plus 7y minus 20, not plus, minus 20 is equal to 180 degree. And what reason is it? It is angle on a straight line. Angle on a straight line. Uh, if it is theory, you need to put that in bracket. Angle on a straight line. Some sum of angles on a straight line. Now let's proceed. So this is 6s plus 7y uh, plus 30 minus 20 is 10. 10 come to this side will give me 180 minus what? 10. So we have 6s plus 7y is equal to what? 170. Call this equation 1. Because this one is not enough information for us to get s and y. Now, what other possibility do we have? In this, uh, if we, uh, since these two are parallel lines, 24x is alternate to this. Alternate angles are what? Equal. So I can say that 7y minus 20 is equal to what? 24. Eh? And the reason is because they are what? Alternate angles. Alternate what? Angles. They are alternate angles. Eh? So this is a um, sum of angles on a what? Straight line. That is the reason. This one is what? Alternate angles. So let's advance. There is not there is nothing to do there again. Eh? Eh? 24x. 24x, please, not 24. Okay, we can balance it up. We have that what? We have that uh, 7y minus 24x is equal to 20. Eh? Is equal to 20. Now, let's start with uh, x. So I have minus 24x plus 7y is equal to what? 20. Let's call this equation what? 2. So let's go and find the value of x and y using equation 1 and equation 2. Look at equation 1. 6s plus 7y equals to 170. Equation 2. Minus 24x plus 7y equals to 20. Eh? Now, the way it is now, this plus this will give us 14. But if we want to eliminate this uh, y, we have to introduce minus here. Let this minus times the whole of this equation. So when minus times minus here is plus, this plus this will give me what? 30x. When minus times plus here, here is minus. Minus plus minus plus 7y minus 7y will give me what? Zero. You eliminate. When this minus times 20, you have minus 20. 170 minus 20 is what? 100 and what? 50. So we therefore say that what? Eh? 30s is equal to 150. Divide to both sides by 30. So what is x? S is equal to what? 5. Eh? Now that we know that s is 5, can we find y? Yes. Let's use any of the equation. From equation 1, 6s plus 7y is equal to 170. Equation 1. Anywhere we see s, we put 5. 6 times 5 plus 7y is equal to 100 and what? 70. So we have that what? 7y is equal to 170. This time this is 30. 
30 come to this side becomes minus what? 30. So 7y is equal to 170 minus 30 is 140. Divide both sides by what? 7 over what? 7. So y is equal to what? 20. Huh? y is equal to 20. Therefore, what are we looking for? x plus y is equal to what? 5 plus what? 20. s plus y is equal to what? 25. That is the answer to this, uh, this thing. Please, when solving, always remember to put your degrees uh, if you need be. We are looking for uh, the value of x and y. Though they did not put degree on top here, yeah? uh, so there will be no need for that here. Yeah. But if there is degree, okay. Thank you and um, subscribe to this channel and share this video now. See you in our next class.